What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Drip My Whip. Crank it up. Crank it up pretzel right now. Sound cool. Ooh. Very nice. Anyway, just cranked up pretzel. As you know from the last video, uh, we're going to be trying to handle the misfire today and putting on the rest of the exhaust. And so we're about to head to my homeboy's shop right now. His name's Jamal. You guys have seen him on the channel before. It's been a while though. I haven't seen him in a minute. So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying going to catch up with him. So he's going to be finishing the exhaust today uh, for a couple reasons that I'll go over later. But like I said, we just fired up pretzel, so we're going to head over there. has arrived safe and sound for now well safe I don't know about sound we're gonna get the sound better <laughs> later so you might remember Jamal from a video when I had what did we do oh we did a welded diff that's what we did yeah we did a well, welded diff wait, which one went at the church on the oh yeah the church too <laughs> dude the church. I forgot about that yeah, yeah. so yeah, he's, he's helped me out a lot so he's got a new shop now which is awesome it's got a lift way better in the garage or doing it in people's driveways yeah no more of that get up under here and show you guys I got most some of the exhaust put on myself just so the car was drivable to get over here went down this is a full Z1 exhaust right here where it goes down to the uh, mid pipe and axle back I didn't put on because we didn't have the hangers I don't know why I actually I told you on last video why the car doesn't have hangers so anyway so the rest of the Z1 exhaust is here nice and shiny it's got some beautiful stuff with it it's just got really nice tips on it so I'm gonna put so sure enough, I come here to get my exhaust done the right way, and he has the hangers I need. Yep. Of course. I was gonna, you see these right here? This was my, my last resort. <laughs> Not the silk tab zip tie. Yeah. <laughs> That's what held up the last exhaust, because I was like, oh crap, I don't have hangers. So even though I can tell this is a lot of work, you at least have the right hangers and stuff to do this the right way. So it would have been me with a couple of jacks cussing at this thing in the storage unit, trying to get this on. This is much easier. Look, it's just sitting there. This is his GS. He's in the middle of a turbo swap. Or turbo swap. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because it's a uh, turbo kit on it. Yeah, it was ending. It's already. So, what trans are you running on uh, this? ZF out of an E36. Nice. Yeah. Is that when you when you do a manual swap on the GS? Shit. <laughs> when you do a manual swap on the GS, the um, what is the the swap like? For mine, it was kind of easy because... I mean, it's all bolt-on. It's nice. I like that. That's a good looking GS. Have you drifted it yet or not yet? Not yet. The motor you bought for me. Oh. Came out of this one. Oh. And then you put another one in it. And then it just sat. And I, I was see. like, I'm going to make it a drift car. So that's the 2J that I had bought in, in this video mm. here. And the, uh, which we never ended up using because ended up needing to buy a new... Head, head for it. Yeah. Head. I just never had, I never put the time into that motor, but it could have been something. The, uh, but it is now with, who's it with now? I forgot. I'll let y'all know another time. Now this is the tools that I don't have that was needed for this job. So I see you got the welder out. So what exactly are you doing over here since I don't have hanger? Got this hanger right here. Okay. And I'm going to sit it on top of the muffler and just weld it on. That okay. way you have a hanger. Makes sense. Right here, so that's all done, but it's still a little wobbly, so he's making another bracket real quick. Okay, that's coming together. That looks good. Do that. Woo! 
bracket went on perfect. Beautiful bracket. There was definitely some fabrication needed because I didn't have brackets. I was not going to be able to do that properly by myself. So, got it done right and it looks fantastic. I can't wait to hear it. It does have a misfire. We'll see if it wants to have a misfire when we start it. But either way, we'll get to hear how it sounds. Sticks out just as much as I wanted it to. Perfect. Got the Z1 brands on the top. That looks fantastic. Thank you so I much. I like it. It sounds good too. It sounds really good. Good yeah. sound. Good sound. Ignore the misfire. We're going to be dealing with that uh, next. That's actually the next thing I'm going to go bring it to do is we're going to deal with that. Check it out. He gave me some of his stickers. If you're not following him on Instagram, you need to follow him right here. I just put his Instagram right here. Definitely check out his shop. Anything you need. Exhaust work, welding, fabrication, turbos. What else? You need your car built. Bring it here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like Mostly anything, anything drifting for sure. Yeah, all drift cars, lower Wash. cars, all that kind this thing of stuff. Wash. Yeah, so we still haven't washed it. <laughs> you mentioned it too. It hasn't been cleaned in over a year. That's and I'm over here talking about doing a misfire. I still haven't washed it yet. Twelve seconds later. I think I'm actually stuck. I'm stuck. actually stuck. I'm actually stuck. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, that'll do it. Tomorrow. What's up, guys? Good morning. Well, it's the same video for you guys, actually. But next day, um, took parts of home last night, misfiring the whole way. Now we're heading up to the storage unit so that way I can get my spark plugs, injectors, coil packs, all that which I have up there. We're going to swap all that stuff into this car and hopefully that fixes it. to the storage unit. So we're gonna go ahead and take the top of this off. I'm gonna investigate those injectors. Something is up here, so we're gonna find out. I do have the old motor as well that has all of its coil packs, injectors, spark plugs, has everything we need. I know what you're looking at. You can't see it. You're not allowed to see it. So <laughs> that's another video. Well, actually, you know what? Let me know in the comments what you think uh, is going on over there. Luckily for this engine, this stuff is not hard to get to, so I'm just pop this off real quick. Just a bunch of 10 millimeters, and there's the injectors and stuff right there. I want to take a look at those first. I'm thinking it's injector related, because I don't see anything off over here, and all this stuff looks legit, so only one way to find out. And of course, I left my drill in the Chrysler because why would I not need my, my drill, you know? Just taking a bunch of 10 mils off. I'm gonna start just by pulling all these coil packs off and swapping these out. Like I said, it's an intermittent issue that randomly comes and goes. Sometimes it's based on heat, sometimes it's based on RPMs. So I'm gonna do coil packs first. I did double check all of these plugs and everything, everything's fine. So I just hooked up the code reader to it and I've got eight codes. Just look these up, P1148 and 68 are air fuel ratio errors with sensors. And that could also be due to, not this code, this is for, this code is because the car's manual swapped and it can't see the transmission. This code is for a throttle body sensor or the throttle body itself malfunctioning which could have caused the two first codes because if you have a bad throttle body, you're gonna have bad air fuel ratio. After that, 3.7 is oxygen sensors. We don't have those, so is that one. This one is cylinder one misfire, and this one is multiple misfires. I threw the original throttle body and plenum from the last motor on there. The last motor didn't have these issues. We had a code for a throttle body. So I popped that on, it's faster than changing the throttle body. So I put that on, we've got a new spark plug and coil pack uh, for cylinder one. 
and I left everything else the same. That is a little nasty. I'm sure if you guys probably see it up close, it looks terrible. That's because it wasn't intended to be reused after we pulled the motor out. I am gonna repaint that and get it matching looking good, but uh, we are testing right now, so that's not important. fixed everything dude but before i go this shit's so hard i love this thing so much like it's just far yeah it's dirty as hell but this thing is just far the exhaust sounds great i can't wait to really hear it now i think it's gonna sound good but yeah this thing is just cool dude i like this thing a lot it looks like crap i have a nicer car but like something about this bucket like i don't know i just maybe it's all the work i've put into it but i just i, I fuck with this car heavy sounds good all right no misfire so far successful day today we got the exhaust put on we got the misfire fixed so I think now it's safe to say the car is ready for the track so that's awesome we're gonna be heading back to the next one we're not missing it and, uh, and put, we'll hopefully do much better that time still haven't washed the car actually I just realized that still haven't washed the car but we'll we'll get around to it probably next video I'll cleaned it up or something like that I promise you I'm gonna give you guys an update on the 350z I've just been too busy with pretzel so I got it coming it'll be one of the next few videos it might be the next video but it might be the one after that uh, but it is coming nonetheless thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it it was just a little you know something here and there we were just tinkering with the car nothing crazy but hope you enjoyed it nonetheless hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, and other than that guys I will see y'all on the next episode of Drip My Whip peace